you have similar things? So like for you guys, if is it a violation then if if probationers are drinking? Yeah. <laughs>
but there's nothing you can necessarily do because we can't sit there and search them. It's kind of, again, with the alcohol thing, you kind of know and you try and work with it and encourage them to stop. But like, we kind of, there's a clear line between us and the police, like the police kind of deal with those kind of things. Oh, so if someone comes to your office and they are visibly intoxicated and you know that they drove there, would you like, detain them there and call law enforcement or like what would you do only if they're like being excessively unmanageable like if they've come in and you know they're like excessively like causing a problem because so many people come like you don't know how they get there like they say they're in their friend's car like they just come in smelling of weed so you kind of have to have that balance of okay kind of know what you're doing let's work with it we acknowledge we know what you're doing it's kind of like when you have a child it's like you'd rather know what they're up to than just kind of send in the police i think you asked a minute earlier like about the police so we don't have police that are like in probation but we do have some police officers that work with like sex offenders and like we call it prolific offenders so ones that are like constantly offending or like people that are on like drug treatment orders so for those they would have a police officer and you'd have like three-way meetings with them and like you'd have, if they'd done something the police officer would tell you and you kind of talk with each other but that's only set offenders and that's like, so, yeah so the sex offenders as well we have like this if they're on a sex offender register they automatically get a police officer working with them oh that is interesting yeah yeah so the police officer will you know, monitor them, they will do extra home visits, unannounced visits, so it will be unplanned. Um, so you all kind of jointly make decisions for things, so it's not just down to probation. Wow. Do you have do you guys have to go to court at all? Like Yeah, so we we used to, so before it split with private and public, we used to have to write the pre-sentence reports. Do you have those? Yeah, so we used, that used to be just a part of, on top of our caseload, we had to just, we were given, I think, one or two reports a week to write for, and you'd get like three weeks to write them. So you wouldn't, then you'd have probation officers that are based in court, so they're just report writers. So we wouldn't necessarily have to go to court unless someone had, we call it a breach, you call it a violation. So unless someone violated and we'd have to provide evidence as like a witness, then we would go to court. But yeah, otherwise it's just writing the court reports. But we've stopped doing them since it went private and public. So now there's just court report writers that just do that. How about you guys? Do you have to um, go into court or? Mm -hmm. It was, there was a time where we had to go to court almost every week. Um, so the judges, they would have what they call court reviews. So every six months, well, six months into an offender's probation, they would want to see the offender in court. So we would have to go with them in front of the judge and tell the judge how they're doing and the judge talks to them directly. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was a lot because some days yeah. you court all day because you have so many offenders on the court document. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it also helped the offender. It helped to hold them accountable. Yeah, um, because yeah. they knew that okay, I'm on for six months. I'm gonna have to go see this judge again, and yeah. you know they're gonna see how I'm doing. <laughs> so it, it was good for them to be held accountable for that. And then sometimes if an offender would go to court and uh, the probation officer tells the judge, "Oh, this person has been drinking. They've been doing this," and then the judge could lock them up right there on the spot. Yeah, that sounds similar to. So we don't do that for every offender, but for the prolific offenders, the ones that are on a drug treatment program we have exactly the same thing but yeah. that's more not so much my probation it's more the like private sector that deal with the kind of lower risk ones so they're lower risk but causing the high amount of crime yeah <laughs> yeah yeah interesting yeah. so it looks like prisons courts what about victims? Do you have like any victim workers? Um, we have, well, in my, in my department, there was a special officer that handled uh, victim services. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They, they would deal strictly with making sure the victim was notified of different things. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, same here. 
Yeah. I yeah. never had to do that. I never wanted to do that because that's sad to me. I'm just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what was I thinking? So what are, what is your like working culture like? So do you, are your offices open Monday to Friday? Is it like office hours? Like what's it like actually working there? Well, for my department, <laughs> it was Monday to Friday, just normal hours, eight in the morning, five in the evening. But there are some agencies, different departments, different states where they, they're on call on the weekend or they might work late until nine o'clock or they might have to go to an offender's home at 10 p.m. just to make sure they're there. Oh. But for me, I didn't I didn't have to do it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't like that. Ours is the same <laughs> as that. Monday to Friday, um, yeah, like similar hours, pretty much like the office is open nine till five, but you get a lot of people, I don't know if it's the culture there, who end up staying late to finish work, write assessments, write reports, because the work is just ongoing. Um, do, do you get that over there? Or is it like once you're finished, that's it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> not, at least not where I work. I'm sure there's some different like probation yeah. office role where they would stay late. But just in my agency, yeah, you didn't stay after five. Sometimes yeah. it, like bare, it was rare. Like yeah. you know, stay maybe an extra hour or something to finish up some paperwork. But me personally, yeah, no. me personally as well. No, I'm like out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And um, what about like, so because we work for the government, oh yeah, but was you going to say something? I was, I, had, I thought of something, but go ahead. Yeah, because we work for the government, um, so people come into the job as well because it's considered like quite a stable, secure job. So we get like good pension, good holiday, a really flexible, like if you've got a family, like I've got a young family, so it's really good for flexibility and stuff. Is it like that over there? Yeah, we, well, like I said, in my department, because <laughs> yeah. things are different across different countries, I mean, different countries, different states in the yeah, U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, well, holidays, we were off. Um, like I said, weekends, we were off. And yeah. there, there is flexibility with working with, you know, people and their kids and all this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the And the benefits were, were good, pension, all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, great. It's the same. So what was you going to say? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. What is you guys' like social media policy for probation officers? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's I think that's why that's why people don't know about probation because it's like you you are basically not allowed anything, any views because it's the government. You have to be really careful about what views you put out there. Um, you know, yeah, basically nothing, nothing. <laughs> There's like an official like Ministry of Justice social media account. And the thing is, they're always saying we need to encourage more young people, more diverse people, but they haven't got a presence out there in the real world. People do not know what it is we do. Like every time you say, oh, I'm a probation officer, it's like, oh, I've not really heard of that. What do you do? You like the police, you like social workers, because the visibility is, I don't know why, because we're not the secret service. <laughs> I just don't I know. know. <laughs> yeah. We're the same there then. <laughs> and it, it's so weird to me. Like, I think what it is, they want to control what information gets put out. And I understand that. But I feel like maybe they should try to do more as far as putting out the information. So yeah. even if they were to have their own, well, even some agencies out here, like, the department itself they'll have their own facebook page or they'll have their own um yeah. twitter account or something yeah, like that yeah yeah so i think i think that's what it is they just want to be in control of how yeah. their company well it's being represented which i understand that yeah, but yeah. they are very 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 strict on <laughs> yeah. not <laughs> giving out the information <laughs> yes definitely same here <laughs> But I feel like for an offender or somebody who's never been on probation and they don't know anybody who's been on probation, I feel like why shouldn't they, why they should be given an opportunity to get some type of background information on what it is they're getting into. Yeah, and the proper information. (laughs) Because if they they hear it from like someone in prison, they hear the worst story. Yes, (laughs) yes. And then we get bad reputation before they even deal with us. So yeah. they come with preconceived notions, which makes it difficult for us yes. to build that rapport with them. Which, 
I just, I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly the same here. Um, so, what I was going to ask about your training. So, how long did you train to do that job?